Nightmare of a traffic jam that got worse in a hurry. Four separate car accidents Wednesday afternoon caused major backups and delays on the Buckman Bridge. You see that from yesterday. Well, as if that weren't enough, the bees then, big swarms of bees started to come out, went onto the traffic, got stuck on some of the cars and the trucks. On your side, Rich Donnelly got the buzz on why this may have happened and just in case it ever happens to you, what you should do. Take a look at the left side of your screen. Drivers were stuck in a sticky situation Wednesday afternoon with traffic backed up on the Buckman Bridge. Then it got worse. Bees. Thousands of them escaped the truck that was transporting bees cross country and some cars were swarmed with bees. They may have needed a resting spot. The bees communicate with pheromones. So once a few bees start landing in a spot like a pickup truck, other bees will start to cluster in that same exact spot. Michael Leach is the owner and beekeeper of Bee Friends Farm in Jacksonville. He says that shipping bees is big business. Millions of bees are shipped to different parts of the country to pollinate plants when it's spring in that particular area. Leach says that this is currently swarm season for bees. Most of his bees are out in California, and he knows this because his trucks have tracking devices, so he knows exactly where they are at all times. Now that they're returning here in March, we will then take those bees and place them out in areas of forage where they'll collect surplus honey that we can bottle and sell down the road. But back to the swarm we saw on Wednesday. Leach has some advice in case this obscure event ever happens again. Just keep your car windows rolled up and don't open the doors. And if usually bees will start to blow off your car at 30, 40 miles an hour, they can't hold on any longer. And so they'll just disperse back off into the environment. And you'll be able to buzz off without getting stung. Reporting in Jacksonville, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News on your side. Just in case that ever happens to you. Well, the NOAA